Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 48th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about views and uh, this is going to be a short tutorial. I'm just going to briefly introduce what views are in SQL and uh, views are basically virtual tables that you might want to use when you want to limit the information that you display to your uh, table viewers, right? And uh, essentially a view is nothing but an SQL query that has a name and uh, every time you use a view you basically execute that query right so what I'm going to do is uh, you know just demonstrate how you create a view in this tutorial and then in the next couple of tutorials we're going to work with views you know see the various kinds of operations that you can perform on views and uh, why exactly are views useful you know we'll understand that in this tutorial a bit and then uh, a bit more in the next tutorials so I've got a table in uh, one of the databases that I have uh, on the system. It's called employees. So I'm just gonna uh, show you the data that I have in the table first. So to do that, I'll type in select star from employee and uh, when I execute the query, I see that it's got uh, you know, a lot of information. You know, uh, th There's ID field and then name, age, email and salary. And then the ID field, I guess, is the primary key for the table and it takes in values from 1900 to 1916. Uh, so there are about, uh, what, 17 rows in the table at the moment. So, you know, let's say you want to display some information from this table, but, you know, you do not want to display like all the information. You want to display, you know, let's say the employee IDs and uh, names and email addresses. You do not want to display the age values or the salary values and you know let's not just talk about demonstration here in fact you know if you want to have a structure that contains only these three fields from this table and does not contain the age values or the salary values so basically you want these values to be abstracted or hidden from uh, some users on the system right so in that case it'll be uh, you know sensible to have some kind of a window that only lets you see through these fields and doesn't let you see through these fields and that window is what you call a view in SQL. So to create a view for this table what I'll have to do is type in the create view statement right so you type in create and then view just as we did for create table and uh, then give a space and type in a name for your view so I'm going to call my view emp underscore view and you should try to make your view names, you know, s sort of, um, uh, you know, understandable in the sense that I'm working with the employee table in this tutorial. So I have, you know, picked up the first three alphabets from the table and then the underscore symbol and then view. Now, this is not a convention or this is not something that you should do for all tables, but then you should have some kind of, you know, link between the names of your views and the names of your tables. And then you give a space and type in the keyword as and uh, this is something that we don't do with create table but we have to do with the create view statement and then on the next line you type in select and then just select the columns that you want your view to have so in this case i want the view to work with the id field and the name field and then the uh, email field right so i'll type in these three field names and then i'll type in from and then uh, the name of the table which is employee and then you can also have a where clause this is optional and uh, I'm going to have a where condition like uh, where name is not null, right? So if you will uh, pull out information from this view, then it's going to get stuff from this table only for those rows for which the name value is not null, right? And in this table currently, I don't have any such row, but then in the next tutorial, we'll uh, maybe add a row to this table that will have a null value for the name field. And we'll see that that row is not returned when you, you know, run a select star on the view. So when I execute this, I see that in the output, I get the message create view EMP underscore view as blah, blah, blah has been executed successfully because I see this green, uh, you know, amazing looking circle with a white check. And then uh, I also get in the message box that zero rows were affected, right? Because I've just created my uh, view yet. And if suppose I want to see how I can uh, pull out stuff from the view, I'll type in select star from emp underscore view and when I execute this statement I see that I only get these three field names and I see all the rows that I saw with the select star from employee uh, query and that's because 
you know, all rows in the employee table currently satisfy the condition that I had in the where clause uh, when I created my view and the condition uh, was that the name should not be null and there is no row in the employee table that, uh, you know, objects that condition. So that's it uh, in this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one in which we'll uh, see how we can insert values in a table through, uh, you know, views and then, you know, some more stuff about views, interesting stuff, I assure you that. And thank you so much for watching this one. And uh, uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon.